Last week we were in New Zealand South, experiencing a beautiful but very unplanned winter experience. This week we arrive back in Australia and put the winter clothes back where they belong. We share our change in plans again and take you along with us to explore a stunning campsite where going to jail is optional. And finally we announce the winner of last week's giveaway, so let's do this. So we're back in Australia and um, as you know we are doing the full lap of Australia this year and well it's all turned to Not anymore. custard is the PC term for that. <laughs> um, with an unexpected trip to New Zealand we ended up being over there for five weeks um, and a few other things have happened this year and our rough schedule has gone out the window because we're not going to have time to get back around the top. It's too far, it's like twice as far to go around the top and back to Perth as it is to retrace our steps. Yeah, we mapped it. It's like 5,000 something or other k's to go south and 8,000 to go north, which is crazy. So, south we come. <laughs> We're turning around. <laughs> ah, I still haven't got to see far north Queensland, but anyway, one ne day. Next time. We'll yeah. But we are going to see a few cool things that we missed on the way up, and the first one of those will be Trial Bay, where there's a jail. And a goal. A goal. That's where we're heading now. We've been driving for what feels like forever today. One of our longer days. <laughs> it was only like 370 k's. Oh, but we left at 8.30 this morning and you can see we're almost there, 12 more minutes to go. ETA, 1 p.m. We're pretty slow. Pretty slow, pretty starving. I'm trying to work as we're driving. This road's very bumpy, but we're almost there. So I don't know if we've had this argument on camera before, <laughs> but Chris and I always argue over the air conditioning. I hate climate control because I like to have my own temperature. Chris loves climate control and growls me every time I touch it. <laughs> So what have we just found out today? <laughs> well, I, he just told me I was having a hot flush. <laughs> Meanwhile, his is blowing nice cold air and mine's blowing like 50 degrees and I'm like sweating. <laughs> it must control the climate by having hot air on that side and cold on mine. Yeah, exactly. So every time I'm cold, I turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like literally boiling. <laughs> it lies 22 degrees even my foot. Oh, we're lost. Oh, the map keeps staying straight. Yeah, I see straight. We have arrived. We're on site 46. That should be it, just right there. That pad. This is a very small little campsite. We'll do our best to get on it. It's going to be tight. You got in there, I'm just getting growled. Because I didn't want him to fall off the cliff. <laughs> There's a piece of wood back there. Yeah, and a drop. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but what? Shaking your head. <laughs> I'm the direction giver. See? Cliff. <laughs> Jeez, the old back legs probably aren't going to touch. Yeah, well, they, you can go forward. I had you forward a bit more. Well, I could go a little bit, but... I've got to be able to get off the van. Well, look at the car lines up there. People have obviously driven up. I'll go, for, I'll go forward a little bit. I'm sorry, what was that? You, you're going to win? Go forward a little bit. Story of my life, team. <laughs> this woman. <laughs> yeah. There's the beach. It's not quite warm enough for swimming, but at least it's sunny. And you just see it through the trees. So there is, let's see, the car gets out of the way. There is the jail, right there. It's felt funny, but it is the jail. Right, we'll set up, hit some lunch, and we are going to straight up just go have a look at the jail. Go and look at the goal. The goal, yeah. 
And bonus for us, it is free entry today, and we love everything that's free. <laughs> I don't know why they spell it the way they've spelled it, but it looks like they've misspelled goal. Goal. Go. Get goal. It's G A O L. Yeah. But it's Weird. jail. Fucking boot. I made Chris do some stretches yesterday and some exercise. How's your butt coming up this little hill? My butt's all right, but my butt bone's bruised. Your butt bone? <laughs> I'm doing sit-ups on the way. ground. <laughs> well, it doesn't look terrible. No. I think the worst places to be. The concrete blocks there. Yeah, look, they're bars. Bars. Yeah. Look at them. No, oh, I suppose it works. We're going to hit a mess, mess bath together. Yeah, oh, there's a little guard tower up there. That's cool. During the, during the drought of 1915, they were only allowed four cups of water for washing, bathing, and drinking per day. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Gross. I'd be saving it all for drinking. Yeah, I was going to say, there wouldn't be much left for washing. I feel like if I was in jail, I could figure a way to get over that wall. Not if you're going to get shot. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> this, is, this is not the times when they dicked around. You got shot. There's no barbed wire on the top, I feel like you got a chance, half a chance. I don't reckon. Probably oh, legit cell blocks. Hey? Eh? Ooh, oh, it's cold in here. It's crazy to think people actually are kept in here. Very dark. Wow, this building's cool. Mm. I wonder if they've always got their art in here, or if it's just something at the moment. Oh, what's this bit? It's like a oh, an oven. cooking joint. What was supposed to be in the new kitchen? Oh, that would have been warm. It's like a ginormous pizza oven. Yeah. It's the original floors in the cell because there's nowhere to go toilet. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no plumbing. They've probably got a bucket with their four cups of water. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get upstairs, but I assume they're just mirror images of down here. Looks like they cut them off. They must have been oh, you can not see the, structurally sound. See the plates along the middle there. I feel like everything was always built so much taller back then. Pelican. He's got some how, checker plate for a beak. I wonder Phil. how you start something like that. It's a spark plug. We'll just keep welding things on until it looks cool. Another spark plug. That's about all I know what I'm looking at. <laughs> <laughs> Those things, I can't remember what they're called. What things? <laughs> Wire cutters. There's some bolt cutters there. Battery terminal. <laughs> There's all sorts of there. That big fire over there. Yeah, I saw that. jails back then that wouldn't have been a bad one. No. Got to do some work every day. Looks Wasn't... like it'll be quite warm. So I wonder where they were trying to build the breakwater thing. Out there, you could Out see it there. from the guard tower. No, I didn't notice. But 
We'll There's... go down there. We should be able to get down there. Oh, right. something just. Oh, I saw that. Right Not the whale. Oh. So that side there is the open sea and it's rough. And that side there is a really cool little bay. I'm not quite warm enough to swim. I'm not that brave. Chris and I realised that we've only swam one time in the sea this year. Two times. Two times. What was the other one? I swam with the stingrays. Oh, well me one, him two. <laughs> and it's October? No, what are we in? August. September. August, August. oh my god. <laughs> End of August. So considering last year when we were in WA we were living in the water, we really need to get our swimming going. <laughs> How's your life? Uh, can't complain? Can't complain. Not too much. A anyway. bit different than the last episode when we were in Queenstown with snow right here. Oh. Yeah, pass. <laughs> Look at them! <laughs> Look at their little legs! As long as mum doesn't hate us walking past. She won't be entirely thrilled about it, but... Look at them all! <laughs> the little fluffy heads. <laughs> <laughs> this place is full of wildlife. Kangaroos everywhere. We've seen whales, we've seen maybe a turtle. Jury's out on that one. It was, a, it was something. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. Just lap the whole place. We're in site number 46. Yep. And definitely don't book and it if you've got a bigger van yeah. than us. <laughs> well, any bigger than a 19 foot van. You don't won't fit. Don't bother, you won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> right, tomorrow is leaving day and before we go we have to make an actual plan. So we're going to break that down into 14 stops with some being on the side of the road while others are going to be a little treat. So we figured out the Everest um, likes driving about no more than 400 k's a day. Well, Chris likes driving. It's more me. <laughs> no more than 400 k's a day. So we're going to try and break down our stops based on 400 k-ish gaps. We want to go back to Salamander Bay, see some family. So that we stop number one. We next south of Sydney. South of Sydney. We got a business meeting. Oh yeah, got a business meeting, that's right, in Wollongong. So somewhere close to there. That's about as far south as we'll be heading, we'll go across from there. In. In we go. Into... Wagga Wagga. It's so nice, you say it twice. Two Waggas. <laughs> the town of the two Waggas. Port Augusta? Nah, there'll be a stop along the way there. Probably just like an overnighter, silo stop maybe. Side of the roads. Because we didn't stop at Port Augusta on the way. Try and go from Port Augusta to Sedona before we start the another boring. Oh, I didn't <laughs> even like that the first time, now we're doing it a second time. <laughs> Tanya loves it. <laughs> it's as boring as F and the expense of fuel is ridiculous. She, she loves it. No. <laughs> and then WA! What will be our first stop in WA? Be... Esperance. Esperance. Oh no. No. It'll, be, it'll be a side Norseman. of the road one, just before Norseman probably. Oh, but our first, let's stay in Esperance though, because it's cool. Okay, back to Esperance. And pretty much we can just hook it from Esperance home. Oh, we should go to Wave Rock since we blew up the car trying to get there first. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Oh yeah, oh my god, if the car blew up, it's like the last <laughs> leg of the trip. Oh. Um, so let's put a Wave Rock and not blow up the car. If you don't know what we're talking about, I think it was about the fourth episode that we ever did and we blew the turbo. Yeah, it was pretty early. We yeah. blew the um, the boost actuator on the turbo. And then wave rock to Perth. Back Fun. to WA, where we've got some exciting things happening. We're not going to share that yet, but next video. The least exciting thing is that I'm probably going back to work. <laughs> He's very excited. <laughs> He's very happy about that. <laughs> we're not done travelling. No. We're just... Pausing. We're not even really pausing, we're grouping to get ready for the next adventure. <laughs> pausing. Nah, that's not aiming for Regrouping. Regrouping. <laughs> right, 
so today we've just arrived in Southwest Rocks. It is only what five minutes from where we're camping. Yeah, if that. At the jail. And what do you want to let them know what the name of this bridge is called? Tony quite likes the, the name of this bridge. Back <laughs> Creek Bridge. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> we found this on Google, so we thought we'd come check it out. Do you think there's meant to be water, and we've just come at the wrong tide? Well, it says boats navigate this channel, but unless you've got a dry land boat. <laughs> a caravan boat. <laughs> Sounds like you when you're hungry. Yeah. Oh yeah, work it. <laughs> this old thing. This old thing. <laughs> <laughs> we decided to follow the path and it's brought us out to the beach. There's a random crane. Ooh. Is it fresh? <gasps> What was that path? That's a bit snaky. <laughs> Taking me in the snake tracks. <laughs> That's a nice little swimming beach. Yeah. Still get a little bit pumped by the waves, but nice and flat. Uh, yeah. Oh, my fingers blurry. <laughs> um, as we were saying, at Trial Bay. <laughs> so we're just losing our shit because the locals are having some interactions. Yeah, there's a bit going on behind <laughs> us. But anyway, <laughs> we're here to announce the winner of the competition. Yeah. So had a heap of comments, but um, we chose Ivan Olson. Yep. If you want to give us a email at hello at lentabitwiser.com.au and we will organise your prize. Yep, summer pack, t-shirt, hat and a towel. Yep, so congratulations and everyone thanks for entering and as always thanks for watching. Ciao. See ya. Right, our plan is in place, we're all packed up so let the trip home commence.